Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Scrapman, bringing you another episode of Trail Makers, brought to you by Scrapman, because I don't have any sponsors or anything, so I, I'm technically, I, everything's brought to you by me, which is why I introduce my videos with my name. Why don't I have any sponsors? Well, to keep our minds off of that, let's have some fun by building ourselves a speedboat with an inner tube that we can drag behind it and ride. And maybe we can control the speedboat from the inner tube and uh, maybe I don't, maybe it'll work, maybe it doesn't. I don't know. I just figured that that'd be a fun idea to do. We haven't done like a water-based uh, build in a while. So this is a two-part build. We have to build the boat first, which I, it's been a long time since I built a boat. Hopefully I can get it to work okay. And then we got to presumably using the trailer hinges will make a big long chain to then drag an inner tube behind and hopefully we can get that to be stable as well so uh let's just get into it with a uh the boat part first i'll see you uh after the time lapse Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to part one, the speedboat. Uh, balancing this thing was kind of interesting. I think it's pretty well balanced now. Uh, also, I added some turning in there. You can see some of the fins, the tail fins upside down. And I also added some tail fins up in the front area to help us kind of uh, get that turning uh, trajectory going. Now, it works pretty well. The turning is a little bit weird though still. Like the turning is fine. But straightening out, it kind of like, it waves back and forth a little bit as it catches the water with the fins. But uh, I think it should be fine. I hope we have enough power to pull a sled or a tube or something behind it. I gave it three engines and they're really, really heavy. And it took a little bit of, a little bit of adjusting to try to make it so that the back wasn't too heavy. You can see I put a 50 kilogram weight up in the front there. But, um, so I, I'm actually really happy with how it turned out. I like the way it looks. It goes 80 kilometers an hour and it's controllable and it doesn't flip over anything. So I say that this is a success on part one. So now part two, we have to create a tube and then attach it to this thing and then hope that, uh, hope it just, hope it works. I'm worried that the tube is going to make the nose come up too much and we're not going to get anywhere. But uh, I guess we'll find out when we get there. So let's get back to the docks and start building ourselves a tube.
All right, well, that actually turned out a little bit better than I expected. So here is the inner tube that we've created. Uh, I'm actually kind of impressed with it. It looks pretty good. So we're just gonna hook this thing up to our speedboat over there, I hope. And we should be able to drive it from either seats. And I just hope it's gonna work. The thing I'm worried about right now is that the inner tube might kind of like get pushed under the water somehow with some aerodynamic issues, but uh, we'll find out when we try it. All right, the inner tube is connected with a relatively short chain to start off with, but uh, we'll see what happens with this, and then we'll just expand it as far as we can go uh, after this experiment. So wish me luck. Here it goes. Oh boy. Oh no. Wait, why, does, why is that happening? You know what? I'm just gonna get in. We're gonna... Oh, I can't get in. Hold on. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. We have to start this thing lower to the water. There we go. Uh, no, no, no. Oh, I was afraid this was gonna happen. Hmm. You know what we might be able to do, actually, is maybe we can add some buoyancy... Because this is heavy, apparently. How much do these things weigh? Wow, five kilograms per trailer hinge. So we need to actually add buoyancy to these trailer hinges. All right, check this out. That is quite the rope, but uh, hopefully it'll get rid of the problem that we just had. Let's see. All right, better. Somewhat better. All right, so let's get in the boat first and just see how it feels driving from here. That's looking good. Oh, that is looking- Oh, that's looking bad. That's bad. Oh, boy. Whoop. <laughs> Alright, this is gonna be interesting. This is going to be very interesting. Uh, Alright, I'm gonna get in the two- Oh, wait, no, we have to- Wait, what happened to the seat? Bring my seat back. Our boat seat disappeared after the crash. Alright, let's try driving it from the tube. I'm pretty sure the tube is just gonna flip over. Ugh. Yeah, okay. Oh, actually, I can prevent myself from flipping over because I can do all this stuff. Oh, no, I'm going to make myself flip over when I try to turn. Because in order to turn my boat, I, I actually have to flip over my tube. Oh, that's bad. That is really bad. Oh, no. Oh, this is not good. This, <laughs> this is not how tubing is supposed to go. Why am I even in the seat still? This is not how tubing is supposed to go. Well, uh, oh, you know what? You know, I, I, could, I can change the controls here. I can actually change the controls. Steering is gonna be on Q and E, and that way I can steer without affecting my tilt. I should be able to manually control my tilt separately from my steering. Yes, there we go. Look at this. This is working now. All right, I'm trying to turn to the left here. It's working. Guys, this is turning out to be a successful build. We got a successful build here. Now all we have to do is try to see how long is it gonna let us make this rope. Oh man, this is awesome. This is awesome. This is really cool. I love the snakiness of the uh, of the rope too. Uh oh, our uh -oh, boat's doing some weird things. Okay. Let's go back into build mode. I'm going to save this as like an initial prototype just in case anything bad happens. We can always go back to this version. And now I'm just going to bring the tube off to the side here for a bit. And we are just going to paste as many of these as we can until it tells us we can't no more. Oh, guys. It's, it's not stopping us. Why isn't it stop? Oh, this is going to be bad. This is not- Why? Stop me! Stop, please! Thank you! <laughs> I wasn't expecting it to let me- Look at this! I was not expecting it to let me go that far. I think we've gone too far. We're not even gonna be able to, like, see our boat. Are, am I gonna be able to put this thing on here? Does it include this in the complexity if it's not attached? Alright, well, I guess it's gonna- It's gonna do something. I hope- I hope this can support itself. Alright, here we go. Oh, man, look at that rope. This is too much. Oh, that is glitchy. The inner tube is fine, but this... 
This is not... What? Why is... Oh, no. Oh, I don't like that. I forgot that it sets your camera to the center of mass. Or at least I think it says... Oh. Oh, look at the rope go. That is insane. Oh, I forgot that it sets the camera to your center of mass, so it's not actually following the seat. Um, I'm not, like, I'm not moving any of that. Like, my hands are not on the, <laughs> on the controls right now. That's just, that's just the camera doing its own thing. Okay, so we might have to go a little bit shorter, but you know what? I'm just going to go into free cam here. So now our camera is not attached to our creation, and we're going to drive and just see what happens. Here we go. All right, I'm trying to just do a circle right now. It is very difficult. All right, I'm going to try to go back towards the camera. Come on, keep turning. Keep turning. Keep turning. There we go. Look at that. Look at that. It's working. Uh-oh, we got some, some kinks in the line there. Look at- why is the front of my boat so jittery? At least the tuber is going to be having a nice time, right? Oh, look at it go. That is so cool. The snaking effect. All right, come on back. Come on back. All right. Here it comes. Here it comes. I'm going to do some snakiness at the last second here. I'm trying to at least. Oh, boy. All right, let's see what happens. I'm going to get out of the camera now. Whoa! I'm going to get out of the creation. Let's go to the tube. See how the tube feels. All right, let's flip ourselves. Oh, boy. Okay. Yeah, this is this is tough. This is really tough. All right, I'm going to drive the creation now. I'm driving it. Oh, you can't see anything. I, li I just can't. I can't do this. All right, so we're gonna have to make it shorter. We have to find the sweet spot between camera stability and length. We're gonna make it as long as we're gonna make the uh, the cable here or the rope as long as we can while keeping a tolerable camera. So let's just start by deleting a whole bunch. All right, the boat is still really jittery for whatever reason. All right, and my camera, I can't see myself with my camera. Oh, this is bad already. All right, I'm going. We're going. <laughs> this is the most amazing view, isn't it? I love that we can just see everything that's happening. All right, uh, so clearly this is not the happy medium that we're looking for. So let's just delete some more. All right, this is so far... I mean, it's not perfect. It's definitely not perfect, but this is... Whoa! The whiplash does not go well. It's way more tolerable. I mean, I can at least see the entire creation. Like, this isn't too bad, right? Oh, man. When the snakiness happens, it goes insane, though. All right. Let's just... Oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, this is crazy. Okay, so I think there's one thing left to do with this. We kind of got... We kind of got an okay state. And it works. Like, I don't know if I mentioned, but this is working. We're in a tube behind the boat. Goal accomplished, but now I want to see it go faster. So I'm just going to strap some thrusters onto the sides of my speedboat here, and we're going to make it go crazy. We're just going to see what happens. Oh, I'm just realizing this is really going to affect the weight. Oh, we're, we're, we might sink ourselves doing this, but got to try it. All right, here we go. Please don't sink. That's going to sink. It's totally going to sink. That's a lot of weight. You know what? You know what? We're just gonna try it anyway. We can control it from this seat. Okay. Go. Oh, no. Oh, it's upside down. Why? <laughs> okay, let's try this again. We're trying to make it right side up this time, though. Alright, go, 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 go. Get in the seat. Go, go. Before it flips over. Go, go, go. Get in the seat. Please stop it. Stop. Go, go. Okay. Uh. Nope. It flipped over again. Alright, how do we. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Yes. Yes. Whoa, what happened? Oh, we went underwater. Whoops. Oh, 
I'm trying to flip it back. Where? Where am I? Where'd I? I don't, I don't even see myself on the map. Um. I think we've made a creation so incredible that we've entered into another reality, another dimension, the blue realm, as it shall be called so henceforth. Welcome to the blue realm. Once you become too elite of a trailmaker's builder, they just can't let you build anymore because it makes everybody else feel bad about themselves. And uh, they, they take you to the blue realm where you must sit in time out and learn your lesson for trying to build things too too great too incredible for trail makers to handle so um i should hopefully i should just be able to like respawn back here or something look at that all right oh here we go here we go this works this works yeah look at the uh oh <laughs> no 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 get in get in get in get in please please get in go Get in and go. Aw, oh, man. Some of you guys were saying from the last video when we were doing a lot of the snake stuff that we should do an underwater snake. And I totally want to do that. I just wanted to take a break from the snakes and do something a little bit different this time. So uh, let me know if you have any other ideas that you'd like to see happen in uh, Trail Makers. Um, I'm, I can't I can't really get this to work reasonably. Like, look, it just, it just takes us underwater every single time. But I love the waviness. It's so satisfying. So yeah, leave some suggestions down below. And uh, if you missed the snake episodes, uh, go ahead and check those out. I'll leave a link to one right on the end screen here. Definitely go watch that if you haven't. Even if you have seen it, watching it helps my channel. So just watch some more videos. Go find something else to watch. I have hundreds. I have almost a thousand videos. I think I'm in like the 800s or something. So go ahead and check it out. This has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.